This is why I'm not in IT. <laughs> we literally <laughs> just shot 15 minutes of good interview. Yeah. In slow mo. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm with CTR2, Kelly Carter. Finally, I found a CTR to do a video with. Um, because I've noticed on YouTube there's really not much out there and there's good reason for that. It's because it's a TS job, but I figured we could go with like a personal story and kind of see what life is like as a CTR from somebody that I know. So we actually, we're in, we're in Japan. Um, we met on the airplane out here and as soon as I saw her and her like crazy curly hair, because I also have curly hair, I'm like, we need to be friends. <laughs> Like, this girl and I, we're gonna be friends. So, that's kind of the cool thing about the military is you're already on this, like, common ground. So it's a lot easier to start talking to somebody random and just be like, oh, what's up, dude? Like, mm -hmm. and then just become friends. So, anyway, enough of that. Um, tell us what life is like. Well, as a CTR, we specifically work with um, SIGINT, which is Signals Intelligence. Um, we essentially just get data um, and we analyze it. It's like a puzzle, we kind of pick it apart and once we get our answer, we send it out to our customers. So you are not the one collecting the data? Correct. You just analyze it? Yep. Okay, tell us a little bit why you chose CTR and what your experience has been like. Um, I chose CTR because joining the military, I really wanted a top secret security clearance specifically because when you become a civilian, um, it looks really good and you can pick up a job really quick because um, in the civilian side of things, way if you don't have the clearance, they have to pay for that. Their business pays for you to get that clearance. It's, it's expensive. It's very expensive. Yeah. So I joined the military to get that and the military paid for it. So I'm kind of looking long term when I chose CTR so that when I get out, I have backup plan. A, a good backup plan essentially. Yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've been in five years? Close to five years, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you tell us like your journey from boot camp to now. So boot camp in Chicago and then Pensacola, Florida for A school, which was awesome. Uh, a school is only three months long. It's super short. CTR is a very, I think it's a very easy A school. We had people that got dropped and everything, but I think it's very simple. It's only three months long. Anyone can do it. Um, and then from there, I was shore duty in Hawaii on a watch floor. It took me two years to get my clearance, and so I was. A CFL for those two years. So you were in um, holding. Holding, yep. Which basically, if you, when you do join the military and you go in with a top secret security clearance, you have this SF-86. It's like this huge form of everywhere you've lived, everywhere you've worked, every person you've known, like any foreign travel. It is insane. It's, it's a lot. It's superb. It's wow, superfluous. <laughs> I was gonna say, so, try not to use big words, Shay. Um, no, but it's like it is a long, drawn-out process. So sometimes in your situation, like yeah, tell us, tell us what happened. Like why you were in holding so long? Yeah. So um, I found out I was in holding for two years because when they were doing my background investigation, a previous um, person I had worked for, uh, it was a coffee shop. Uh, she had stated that I stole money from her business, which was false, um, and I had messages later on from her asking her for me to come back and work for her. Um, so NCIS basically was able to show that if I was going to steal from you, why would you ask me to come back and work for right, you, sort so of thing. you were honest. Yeah, and so they um, just kind of threw that out, and I was good to go after that. Um, yeah, okay, it but took two, years. two years. Yeah. Dang. So if you are looking into the military with a TS clearance, like make sure you, if you've burned bridges, make sure you rebuild those bridges and For let sure. like let your employers know, hey, I'm trying to do something better with my life. Like you might be interviewed by NGIS or in, 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 Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna be interviewed by Navy Gateway and in suites, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> in NCIS, which yes. I don't even know what invest. Yeah, Navy like Naval Criminal. Yep, Crime Navy Crime Services. Investigation Services. Yeah, something like that. I'm an IS guys. <laughs> anyway, um, what was your time like on shore duty as a uh, CTR? Shore duty is great. Uh, you're not on a ship, so it's fantastic. Um, I was on a watch floor for an entire year, and I was not a fan. Yeah. at all. It was a Panama shift, which is you work 
three days, you're off two days, work two days, off three days. So essentially, every other weekend is a three-day weekend. Oh, that's nice. So it doesn't sound terrible, and you only work half of the month, but we worked 12-hour shifts. And so, yes, it gets very tiring, um, especially when you're on night shift and you go to work from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m., you're just, you're so out of it. You're super tired all the time. Um, and then you would rotate. So one month was nights, one month was days. So it was Ew. a lot of a lot of back and forth. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, mentally exhausting. Favorite and your least favorite part about being a CTR? My favorite part about being a CTR is my current job where I get to analyze the actual signals and kind of go in like depth with what I actually do with a CTR. It's more of what I actually went to school for. Um, the worst part about being a CTR is most of the places I work is in a very dark, closed off space. There's Dungeon. no windows. Yeah. Yeah. It's an air conditioned office, which is great. And it's freezing. It's, it's so freezing cold. though. It's super cold. I'm always like in my jacket, mm -hmm. just freezing. That's the worst part for sure. So you, you've never seen a ship before. Nope. Um, this, this shore duty is really cool because it's with a squadron. So we, uh, all squadrons are different, but ours with the EP3, our plane's too big to land on a ship. Um, so we go to all shore based deployment stations. So that's been pretty cool. I know that you've been to Greece and now mm -hmm. Japan yep. within the last year. Yep. Got to Washington in July and they sent me immediately to Greece for three months. And then I was home for three or four months and I went to Japan, which is where I'm at now. So what would you say is like, if somebody's looking into being a CTR, like what's the best advice you could give for them? The best advice I could give you is to um, be responsible before joining the military That's and good. do not lie. If you oh, have no. something that you need to like get out and you know be honest about, just tell the truth and most times you'll be fine. If you lie about it and then it comes up on your polygraph, that you've lied, you won't get your clearance, and then you're kind of SOL, and they'll either kick you out or put you on a ship, which is, Ooh. no one wants that. So. Like, will they, like, they'll take your clearance and make you what? Like, like undes. Oh, or, no. Yeah. Don't go undesignated. Mm -hmm. it, they, recruiters glorify it, and they say, like, oh, you can try all these different jobs. No, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to be scrubbing decks. You're going to be doing all, like, the, basically, like, the, all the crap work. So sure. if you go in, definitely make sure you have a rate. And who is the weirdest out of all the CTs? I know there's like CTT, CTM, C CTR, CTI, linguist. Who's like the weirdest? The CTTs. Yeah. Kind of, mm. Who's um, the weirdest? That's tough. CTIs, definitely on the spectrum. Yeah, they're weird. But it's it's a tie for CTM and CT. Eyes, I think you know because CTI is a linguist CTM is more of a maintenance they kind of take care of all of our equipment yeah. very nerdy people just the Intel community as a whole is very nerdy yep super smart people yeah um, good super... people to be around they're very nice but yeah nine yeah times and out of ten it's video games and more video games more video games and nerds and Red Bull mm-hmm yeah so we are we are kind of like an anomaly like being in the intel community people who like adventure and fitness and you know different experiences like kind of hard to come by so the fact that i did meet somebody mm -hmm. that is also in the intel community that like likes to go do stuff is it's cool um because i i have run across like just like oh my god the most smart like the most intelligent people mm -hmm. but still so weird they're book smart but <laughs> common sense is not there yeah. specifically for ctr um i also know that the advancement rate is very very good for a ctr oh, yeah. which is also another huge reason i picked ctr um i've never seen e5 below 45 percent since i've been in that's so good and i took it at 45 percent and picked it up um this last cycle was 100% for E5s, which is Why? crazy. Why? Everyone's just getting out? I have no idea. Which That's is wild. also very big in, when you have an intel rate is people get out after their four years. They yeah. pick up E5 super quick, they get out, because on the civilian side of things, you can make a lot more money. Mm -hmm. um, and so they also offer bonuses most of the time. So if you want to re-enlist, which is what I did, you can get a bonus to stay in longer. Um, but the advancement rate is always really good. That's E4s, so nice. 90% of the time, 100%. E5, super high as well. You want a job that you can advance quickly. Yes. You don't want to be stuck at a certain rank for a long time. HM, hospital corpsman, don't do it. Yeah. I don't. know you, like, if you love medicine, that's great. But, like, do me go be a nurse. 
Like, go, go to college. Yeah, don't go to college, go be a doctor or nurse. Like, don't go in the Navy to do medicine unless you're going the officer route. So you're just, yeah. honestly, you're wasting your time. Like, mm -hmm. if you think, imagine 10 years as an E4. Like, you're making, I don't even know how much E4, $1,600 a month as an E4? And then you're not even doing real, like, medical work no you're checking people in That's yeah it. you're checking people in you're on watch you're I mean it's all different and there's some cool like special cases like where they can go with the Marines mm -hmm. but if you're yeah like that's really good advice if you're looking into CTR or yeah CTR or anything in the Intel community like look into something that has high advancement rates because you you want to get paid well for your job because the truth yeah. is there are some long nights Long days, long nights, and there's a lot that we sacrifice being in the military, being away from family, like mm -hmm. missing birthdays and funerals and all those things. Yeah. So there's also short days as well. So right. I personally think, um, like out here, I go into work when the bird lands, the plane when the plane lands, I go in and I analyze, and if I get done in 20 minutes, I can leave. If I get done in four hours, I can leave. Um, it's like kind of up to what they collect and how you can work. Exactly. It's, yeah. You kind of go into the unknown with any rate that you pick. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, specifically for our situation, I think it's great. You know, like we're in an air conditioned space. Like no matter where we're at, we can be in the desert. Like it's going to be air conditioned. It's a good environment. You know, like. Yeah. You like it. I love being a CTR. It's a yeah. great job. Mm -hmm. So, CTR versus IS. So the only thing about, like, the, well, there's a lot of differences, but ISs really get into the limelight more. So if you're a people person, go IS. Mm -hmm. Like, go more of, like, a rate that interacts with more people. And what's cool is, like, we get to brief our captain and brief, you know, brief the CO every week so they get to know our face. Yeah. But, like, you guys, mm -hmm. you kind of just sit, like, behind the cute computer and you're behind the scenes. And yeah. So it's really just what you want. When I was in Hawaii though, I actually had basically an IS job. Oh. Yeah, so I basically, everything you guys do here is the exact same thing I did in Hawaii, which is crazy to me that we have. You just build products and stuff? The exact same one you're building That's here. That's crazy. Yeah, the exact same one. Yeah. Wow. All the exact same information, I did that in Hawaii, but then we had a separate person that would brief it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, when you join the military, your job isn't always necessarily your job. They'll put you, right. it's, on the job training most of the time mm -hmm. and so you kind of just get squeezed into wherever they need you you do yeah. it's be flexible mm -hmm. when you join like that's the biggest advice i could give for sure so what are the potential duty stations that you could go to so ctrs really can go anywhere honestly uh, a lot of us go to like colorado um, texas maryland um, anywhere there's a ship we can go um, but as a CTR, we also have a lot of resources to avoid going to a ship. Which is awesome. Yeah, which is great. Um, so if you are not wanting to see a ship, there is a great possibility that if you're a CTR, you can try to avoid it. Um, one of the things you can do is air crew, which is where you fly in a plane for, what, six to like 10 hours yeah. a day. You fly, yeah, you fly and you do your job in the air instead of on the ground. Yep, yeah. and you come home at the end of the night and you're in a hotel. So. Air crew is a really good option. Um, you can go TIO, which is Tactical Information Operations, which is more, I'm not 100% sure with it, but it's I think it's more working closely with like Navy SEALs yeah. and that sort of thing. Um, kind of opportunity. Yeah, a lot of opportunity. Yeah, for sure. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, ISs are kind of the same. We can go pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. And we also don't get attached to ships very often. But there are still ISs on ships. Yeah. Like there are, like don't, don't, get, don't get us wrong, like, you could possibly be sent out to a ship, and that's just what you get for joining the Navy. Yep. So, I mean, just know that and have that in the back of your head. And, and I have some friends that were like, man, like, ship life, it sucked, but at the end of the day, it was, like, mm -hmm. a good experience. Yeah, I mean, I hear the camaraderie on the ship is great. Yeah. I think that if you are going to join the Navy, you should have full expectations of going to a ship. Like, you should be absolutely thinking you're going to a ship yes you don't join to be like oh, i'm avoiding a ship cause yeah then go army or air force yeah. or anything else anything else <laughs> all right guys um once again ctr2 carter i'm shay taylor if you have any other suggestions of videos that you want to see please throw it my way i'm here for you <laughs> anyways i'll catch you guys later All right, so far, so far we've shot this in slow mo and we've been interrupted like five times. So that's the life of deployment. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I figured we could go a little more like. <laughs> I figured. I figured. <laughs> the hurt got me. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, I think you're gonna. So what even is crypto? Like in the most, you probably, you can't even say what crypto is, I don't huh? even know. Yeah, <laughs> like what is crypto? It, like it's just information or data or... Should we Google it? Yeah, we should Google it because... <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. This is bothering me. What the heck? Did she just switch it over to the other one? Yeah. 